The full soldier story is so important because back then, I think the feeling that Native people were um, savages, they were evil, they were uh, everything negative was was thought about them, and and they really weren't. The captives were rescued and returned to their families. But what happened to the food soldiers? When they rescued those captives and turned them loose in uh, Fort Pier, half of them were put in prison or in a guardhouse and killed. The fool soldiers were, uh, as far as we can tell, put into an open stockade in that bitter early winter weather. And there is uh, strong evidence that two of them died. As from the army, the foo soldiers had permission to go home. The army gave my grandpa the right to travel all over his own country. Oh. We got that le letter in it, it makes us laugh. This is our land, and here comes these white guys, and all of a sudden they're handing out papers, uh, telling these guys we can travel on our own land. <laughs> The fool soldiers also had a hard time of it. When they returned to their own people, they were basically shunned. Why were they called fools? They sound like heroes to us. They were all seen as, in some manner, as you know, helping the other side. In the 1860s, when they were putting Native people on reservations, um, there was a lot of conflict and a lot of ill feelings, a lot of bad things happening. and. Um, here these Lakota, Teton Lakota young boys decide to do something good and, and um, their own people just scoffed at them. When uh, the troubles continued uh, into the 1870s, 1880s, uh, between the whites and the Indians, uh, the fool soldiers remained calm, remained as a calming influence uh, in their communities, um, discouraged people from engaging in the ghost dance. They encouraged working with the whites, befriending the whites, and living peacefully. This is um, Strikes Fire, Mad Bear, uh, Swift Bird, Walter Swift Bird, Martin Charger, and Four Bear. The story doesn't end with their original Foo soldiers. It lives on through their descendants. The Brotherhood of Christian Unity, which uh, I think uh, covered several religious uh, groups, you know, Episcopalian congregation, took all of our rules and read everything and adopted them as their own. And I was surprised when uh, Vine Deloria asked me to join the peer chapter, and he said, here's our preamble and everything. Well, I said, this is the fool soldiers. He said, we adopted everything that the fool soldiers lived by which was compassion, respect, and responsibility and accountability. But then they weren't just Indian, they were all human beings, you see. Harry, being a spiritual leader now for our people, has cultivated a fool soldier society. When I wear that baseball cap with fool soldiers on him, and his planes in Eagle Butte makes them, see, but he won't sell them to nobody except to me. If they want to buy one, so you got to ask Harry. And then these young people asked me, could I wear one of them? I said, you bet you. I'll be proud to have you one, except you can't do drugs. You can't do the drinking part. You got to be respectful of your parents, your teachers, your elders, your, you know, everything. And you, you got to respect women. This one guy said, God, I, that leaves me out. <laughs> he was honest anyway, in that, in that sense, you know what I mean? So I thought, well, maybe one day if you do, if you feel different, come, come about, you know what I mean? And even some young guys asked, asked this, and I said, well, it's that, you know? And so, and there was two track men here. They were very interested. I said, come along. You don't have to have Asian gangs, white gangs, or black gangs. We have our own. But we don't do what the other three do. We stand tall and proud because, hey, we do things for people. We don't make them do things, but we do things for people. The Lung Fu soldiers help out during the sun dances and other ceremonies. We're the old ones and the younger ones are taking that over, just like Charger and them guys did at that time, see? You know? Mm -hmm. So, and they do a good job. 
they make a nuisance of themselves, they're helpful. They, uh, one lady was packing up and she said, she had a big cap. And she said, did I see you're all packed up? Yes, she said, the fool soldiers came and helped me pack. <laughs> yeah, I said, well, good. <laughs>